Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we are discussing barn dominiums and really the term barn dominium and what it actually means. I've seen quite a few recently, uh, more so a lot on Facebook, people call things barn dominiums that are literally just a custom house and I think some people don't realize that you actually can create more of a headache for yourself calling something a barn dominium if it's not really a barn dominium and I, I mean this by saying I'm gonna show you a couple examples I'm gonna put up here on the screen so if you look at these examples here there's no advantage to making or calling these a barn dominium when they're actually a stick built custom house now, yes, while some of these barn dominium plans can be barn dominiums, sometimes it just doesn't really make much sense to build it that way. I mean, you really don't save anything. In our case, when you do like a barn dominium here, it actually costs you more money to build a barn dominium because permitting fees, and it's a big hassle because you're, you're increasing the time to actually get your permit. So the reality is you're not saving anything there. I mean, when it comes down to the cost of things, I could tell you, for instance, this 60 by 90 that we've got over here, the shell alone, this doesn't include concrete, this doesn't include install or anything of that nature. No doors, with the exception of, rephrase that, there were three steel doors for the back and the side of the building, but none of the front doors, none of the roll up doors, none of that was included, none of the windows. The shell alone for this building was over $94,000 or some change. Now, that did include a standing seam roof. But that did not include installing none of that. Like I said, we're going to get into the cost of this stuff later on. When you get into barn dominiums, depending on your county, you run in, in the state, you run into quite a few issues potentially. One is financing issues. So you may run into issues there. And then secondly, you'll run into issues when it comes to actual permitting and stuff. Now, if you pass something off, you know... I shouldn't say Pat. If you're talking about barn dominiums, so a true barn dominium is typically done in two fashions. You either have a post frame, like wooden post frame, whether it be like a pole barn type structure, mainly a pole barn type structure that is built, or you have a red iron or metal building. I've even seen people do the tubing, which I'm not a fan of the tubing frames uh, as far as being a barn dominium. But, but that's it. Your main outer shell is either going to be post with rafters or, you know, that are made out of wood or you're going to have, uh, you know, metal frames with metal rafters and stuff like that. If you have like two by six or two by four walls on the outside and your trusses sit on those, you're just building a house. Uh, uh, you're just building a custom house. There's nothing wrong with that, you know, some people are just trying to pass things off as barn dominiums or they like the word barn dominium because it's so trendy right now. But the reality is you're, you're creating potentially a headache for yourself. I know for us, and we didn't have any financing issues because what we're doing with ours, but or my parents, but I know there are banks that you will have potentially some issues on. Uh, you also... We'll have issues. We did run in this with our county. So, for instance, in our county, which is Spalding County, when we started this thing, which was, gosh, honestly, back in 2022, I believe, is when we applied for the permit. It may have been, I don't know, it may have been 21. It's been a while. It's been a very long time. But it took six months for us to be able to get a permit. And I had everything down to the T as far as I knew exactly what our code said. It required us to get, unfortunately known as a special exception or a special exemption permit even though we fit all the bill of the county as far as five acres of land yada 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 you still have to get a permit approval for that and it's not just a typical house permit now, when i built my house it was literally going there hand the plans give them the money boom done you got a permit in a couple days it took six months for us to get this permit six months and it was because we had to go through the meeting process. We had to provide, which I had everything already drawn up. I had exterior plans done. I had the interior plans done. Um, we had all that stuff ready. But 
you have to go to meetings and you got to go to the at least for us we had to go to the board of uh board of appeals and then it was the board of commissioners and of course we started in november uh, we applied for in november and it didn't we didn't get it till the very end of march and try to save yourself some headache folks like if it, if you're not doing a true like red iron building or basically a pole barn type structure don't call it a barn dominium call it a custom house it's so much easier on all aspects it could still look like a barn dominium so i say all this to basically get down to a couple things that you need to realize when you're doing a true barn dominium you may run into there there are technically quite a few things but the main ones are going to be your permitting issues potentially depending on your county the other is going to be the banking side of things and then the other big factor is if you're ever thinking about selling this thing you're getting very limited to who you're going to sell to or who can get financing for it because you are dealing with an unconventional structure it is getting more popular today nothing wrong with building barn minutes we're building one but some of you need to realize that you're not building a barn dominium you're building a custom house it may look like a big square box or rectangle box like a barn dominium with a porch added to it it's still a house if it's stick filled stick built like there's nothing there's no post frame construction or you know steel still beam construction at all so unless you have those one of those two factors just call it a custom house it will make your life so much easier that's it, folks. Catch you next time.